Hello everyone, my name is Tomasz and today I'll show you how to set up the modding kit for Bus Simulator 21. So unlike in Bus Sim 18, we don't have to install any version of the engine, so we made it as easy as possible for you guys. So all you need to do is open up Epic Game Store and search for Bus Sim 21 and the only result that's gonna come up is the modding kit. Then you simply click on download and uh, put it into the library and from there you have two options how to launch it you either search for it in your library and you can launch it through epic store or if you f look out the folder where you downloaded it you can just double click the launch mod kit.pat and that will do everything for you you don't have to install any kind of engine you don't need to set up anything up front all you have to do is just download and launch. Everything else needs to be set up in the engine. So let's load it up and have a look there. So we have the engine fired up and let's have a look how to set it up for Bustin 21. As you can see in the top right corner it says Bustin 21 and we're on version 426-2 which is the current engine we're using for development and to see some actual content of the mod kit you need to go into the view options and tick show plugin content and there you can see that we have provided uh, some example buses so Citaro K and MAN CNG Bendy as well as you can see a folder called mod tool in config and there we want to double click the config data asset and we need to input the game installation directory which helpfully the tooltip says where you would find it. So in my case, it's called Steam Library Steam Apps Command Project Greyhound. So let's type that in. All right, uh, everything typed in. So let's hit save on the config. And that's all the pre preliminary work that we need to do. So let's create a new plugin and then we can jump into another video. So, we want to click Edit, then Plugins, we want to click New Plugin, uh, then click on Content Only. After that, we need to name the plugin, so let's name it. And you don't have to fill out the rest, uh, you can fill it out then in the mod info, but that's it. We just click Create Plugin, it automatically jump me into the plugin but you might need to scroll on the left and to add the mod info which is the most crucial part of the mod we need to right click then we go to miscellaneous click on data asset then we search for mod info and select it as the parent we also need to call it mod info save it and after you double click it you can see that here is the actual configuration of all the mods so he, here you would add if you have some bus decals some bus models some bus wraps that your mod is about and also you here name it put in the preview picture and from here you also cook it and copy it to game directory with that said this concludes the setup of the engine it's very easy and very quick compared to bus sim 18 there is not a lot that could go wrong and I hope that you like this video and see you around in the next tutorial. Bye!